The purpose of this video is to demonstrate workflow best practices for proper loading and unloading of the BacTalert Virtuo system. The BacTalert Virtuo instrument is an automated system for the incubation, agitation, and continuous monitoring of blood and other normally sterile body fluid or platelet samples for microbial growth. Adhering to best practice workflow recommendations will allow reduced technologist hands-on time or user intervention, reduced false positive results, optimized organism growth conditions and organism recovery, and improved time to patient results. Loading bottles on the BacTalert Virtuo system. First, inspect bottles before loading and check for the following. Proper placement of user-applied labels, signs of positivity, cracks in bottle. Note, cracked bottles are rare but should never be loaded into the instrument. User-applied barcode labels should be placed vertically within the designated area so that the orientation is the same as the bottle barcode. If user-applied labels have been placed incorrectly, the user may attempt to fix them before placing bottles on the instrument. Note, failure to fix incorrect label placement prior to loading may result in required user intervention to enter missing information, inability to obtain bottle volumes, or an accurate bottle volume readings where applicable. Signs of positivity. Prior to loading the bottles, check the sensor on the bottom of the bottle. If the sensor is already yellow, indicating growth, gram stain and subculture the bottle. Place bottles upright on the conveyor belt in the bottle loading area. Adhering to the following recommendations will reduce the possible negative effects of temperature on organism growth conditions and the occurrence of false positives. Limit batches to no more than 40 bottles. Batches of 20 are optimal. Allow batches to completely load before adding more bottles to the conveyor. Avoid loading over 70 bottles within one hour. Note, if the bank contains multiple instruments, the probability of false positives due to heat transfer is reduced. The bottle is transferred from the conveyor belt into the indexer at the bottle inlet station. The bottle moves around the indexer to the scan spin station. At the scan spin station, the bottle turns, bottle barcodes are scanned, and bottle images are acquired. The instrument also reads any additional customer barcodes that are applied to the bottle and the fill volume where applicable. Note, if the fill volume cannot be read at this time due to foam, the robot will retrieve the bottle two hours later to read the fill volume. After the imager scans the bottle, the robot grips the bottle and places it into an available cell. Bottles are loaded randomly, not sequentially, to help minimize the effects of temperature on bottle readings. Note, if the instrument bank has connected B units, the indexer may send bottles through the transfer station to load on connected systems. It is not necessary to load directly onto B units under normal conditions. Unloading bottles from the BacTalert Virtuo system. Unloading positive bottles. When a bottle is determined positive by the instrument algorithm, the user will be alerted by blinking yellow lights on the system status indicator and warning light tower. The large display screen will display the number of positive bottles and an audible alarm will sound. <laughs> Note, the tone heard for positive bottles is configurable and may vary, it is also possible to configure the positive indicator color to red, but may be more difficult to differentiate from other alarms. Automatic unloading of positive bottles. If your system is set to automatically unload positive bottles, the robot will unload bottles as they are determined positive and place them in the return chute, bringing them to the bottle retrieval area. Bottles are not considered unloaded and the instrument will continue to alarm until positive bottles are removed from the retrieval area. Up to six bottles can fit in the retrieval area at one time, three on each side. If the retrieval area is at maximum capacity, subsequent positive bottles will continue incubating until bottles are removed from the retrieval area. Manual unloading of positive bottles. The system can also be configured for manual unloading of bottles. In this case, a user must select the Unload button on the screen before bottles will be unloaded to the bottle retrieval area by the robot. Bottles will continue incubating until this occurs. Unloading of negative bottles. 
Bottles which remain negative to date when they reach their maximum test time are considered final negative. These bottles are unloaded by the robot to the waste container. Negative bottles can be configured to unload automatically or configured to be manually unloaded. This would require the user to press unload on the large display screen before the robot will drop them in the waste container. The waste container on each instrument can hold approximately 50 bottles. Indicators on the small display screen will provide visibility to the current fill level of the waste container. The robot will stop unloading negative bottles if the waste is full, the door is open, or the bin is missing. Note, biohazard waste bags that fit the waste container are available from Biomary U.